Why That's this right. morning on this show, on this Memorial Day, we wanted to bring in the Secretary of Veterans Affairs, uh, David Shulkin, who joins us now on the State of the Veterans Administration. Nice to see you this morning, sir. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the show. Yeah, Mr. Secretary, uh, appreciate everything you do on Memorial Day, and we're going to ask you about the uh, cemetery network the VA runs as well and ceremonies that will be happening around the country. But first, just wanted to get your reaction to some new reporting from Circa News and others that the wait time persists. We've seen um, challenges at the, at the, uh, the VA in Washington, D.C. and elsewhere. Obviously, you inherited problems with wait times and cover-ups there. Uh, how are the efforts going in, in improving waits that vets are seeing promptly? Well, Pete, thank you. First of all, uh, I hope everyone and all your viewers are having a very meaningful Memorial Day. We're focused on wait times, and things are getting better around the country. We've recently published all of our wait times so everybody can see exactly what the wait times are, so there's no hiding these problems. And where there still are wait time problems, we're laser focused to make sure that no veterans waiting for care. You've been meeting, uh, according to the New York Times, with Jared Kushner, who's been tasked with the Office of Innovation, which is sort of a broad topic, but one thing that he's passionate about. He's been meeting with uh, Google, uh, former Google executive um, Eric Schmidt, uh, the executive chairman of uh, Alphabet, about modernizing our government and trying to bring some innovation to government. In these meetings with Jared Kushner about modernizing the VA, what have you guys talked about? Anything you can share about that? Well, I think you're exactly right. The problems that we're facing in the VA are really years and years of neglect, sometimes decades. We're running with systems that are 30, 40 years old. And what's happening in the Office of American Innovation is we're actually going to industry and we're trying to get the best practices that American companies have and make sure that our veterans have the very best care by modernizing our systems. Yeah, you know, today is a day, of course, you think about those that have paid the ultimate sacrifice, but also the next generation of our military that are going to go out and make an incredible sacrifice for all of us. I would love your take on the president's uh, most recent trip, his first international trip, where he talked very strongly about terrorism. Um, he spoke to our troops on the way home. What did that do to boost the morale of our military? Well, I think uh, this was a very successful trip, and the president being abroad was very important for all of us to see. I think that uh, the country wants America to lead, the country wants America to be strong, and of course having a strong VA is so critical to our national security. Watching the president feel so passionate about our military and veterans is something that I think all of us are very proud of. Mr. Secretary, we talk a lot about the Veterans Health Administration, health care at the VA. We talk about benefits at the VA all the time. We rarely talk about the National Cemetery Administration. The VA runs 135 cemeteries around the country. A lot of services at those cemeteries today. So if people wanted to memorialize in person, uh, they could, they could uh, presumably visit all these ceremonies. Well, you're absolutely right. All across America today, the Department of Veteran Affairs is going to be welcoming families and friends of those that have fallen to serve our country. And each one of these cemeteries, there's going to be very special ceremonies to recognize and to honor those who have sacrificed for all of us. Absolutely. All right. Secretary Shulkin, great to have you with us Sir, this morning. Sir, thank you very much. It's an thank important you. day.